CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make a granny square beanie with this Christmas tree applique. This is super easy, beginner friendly stuff and it is really probably the easiest beanie you could ever put together. And so what it is basically is you've got three granny squares, one, two, and three, and they're all sewn together. Then you sew up the top and then you put a brim on it. So, I mean, you could make this, it's the quickest uh, gift you could make. Great for stocking stuffers or just a regular gift. It's just absolutely cute and beautiful. And then I'm also gonna show you how to do these little French knots that make the little ornaments on the tree. Okay, so let's get into the video. So for this video, you can use any yarn you wish. I will put the yarn I use um, in the description below. I use this variegated yarn from Hobby Lobby, and then I use just a cream um, red heart color um, for the Christmas trees and for the brim. And then I use this little puff, uh, and I will leave, in, like I said in the description box below, I'll leave where I got the puffs, the exact kind of yarn and everything. You'll also need a pair of scissors, um, you'll need a 5.5 millimeter hook um, for this. Uh, and you're also going to need a darning needle to sew in your ends. Okay, so what I'm gonna teach you how to do first is, is I'm gonna teach you how to do the Christmas tree applique. And then we'll bring that in as we're doing our granny square. But like I said, super easy. Uh, don't worry about anything. You're gonna be able to do this even if you're a beginner. Now, if you are totally new to crochet, and you don't know how to do the stitches that we're doing, you don't know how to do a magic circle, that's okay. I have a video below in the description box that will show you how to do everything we're doing in this video, and it's a beginner crochet video that tells you everything you need to know, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is teach you how to do the Christmas tree. Now these are some squares that I've already made up um, for this beanie that we're doing today in the video. So we're gonna take our cream colored yarn and we're going to make a slip knot then we're going to chain two, one and two. And in the second chain right here from the hook, so not this one, not this one, but the second one, we're going to put two single crochets, one and two. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then right here below uh, this first stitch right here, you're going to put one single crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put two single crochets. So what you're doing now is you're making a triangle. Now you're going to chain one, turn your work. In this first stitch, you're going to put one single crochet. And the next stitch, one single crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put two. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, put your first, uh, first single crochet in this first stitch, then in the next, one single crochet, and the next, one single crochet, and in this last stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. Now, if you have trouble finding this last stitch, turn your work over on its side and you will be able to see the little V there. So right there, we're going to put our two single crochets. Then you're going to chain one and turn your work. Then you're going to, again, put one single crochet all the way down, except for the last one. And the last one, you're going to put two. So now you can see a pattern developing. So again, chain one, turn your work, do single crochets all the way down, except for the last one, where you're going to put two single crochets. Okay, and you see we've already got a little tiny triangle or tree. You're gonna keep doing the same thing until you get 15 across. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we would chain one to continue, turn our work, do one single crochet all the way down. And 
and then two in the last one. Now we have eight. Chain one, turn your work, repeat, and then you'll have nine. So just keep doing that till you have 15. And once we have our tree done, we'll meet back up together again. Finished our tree and I have a count of 15 going across. Now we're going to do our tree trunk. So you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to single crochet seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then after you do that seventh single crochet, you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Then in the second chain from the hook, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then the next, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then I even want you to put a half double crochet around this little V right here that we see. So we're gonna yarn over and go through these top two Vs right here of where we first started that chain of three. You're gonna go through there and you're going to do a half double crochet. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and put one single crochet. So there's one, and then you're gonna single crochet all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now you have made a cute little Christmas tree. So if you don't wanna do the beanie or you just wanted to know how to do a Christmas tree applique, now you know how to do one, okay? So now you're just going to cut off and I want you to leave a long piece here because we are gonna sew this onto the hat after we even, so we're going to bring this into the hat as we're doing the granny square, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, but then you will be sewing the sides. So you're gonna need, we're gonna use this piece, and we're going to use this piece down here, okay? So I'll show you exactly how to do that. And so now we're gonna work on the granny square. The granny square is just a simple granny square, but I'm still gonna show you how to do it in case you don't know how, um, or you might know a different kind of granny square than what I'm doing. And I've just got this variegated yarn. I think this is uh, Lion Brand. I think I picked this up from uh, Walmart. It's a cake. Uh, again, I'll put this in the description below. Okay, so to make this granny square, we're going to do a magic circle. Pull tight so the magic circle is small and it's easy to work into. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then into this magic circle, I want you to do two double crochets. And that first chain of three counts as a double crochet, so technically you have three. Then I want you to chain two and I want you to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then I want you to chain two again and put three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this a little tight because it's getting a little big for me. So chain two and do three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, then you're going to chain two. You're gonna pull tight on your magic circle and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain of three that we did. And now you've got your little square that starts your granny square. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And that counts as the first double crochet over that double crochet. So then you're gonna go into your next stitch and you're going to put a double crochet. 
you're going to go into your next stitch and put a double crochet. And then the corner, you're going to put two double crochets. Chain two and two more double crochets. Then you're going to work across these double crochets. So in this first stitch, you're going to put a double crochet, then another double crochet, the next stitch, another double crochet in the next, and then now we're back at a corner. So in this corner, we're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Now we're back over these double crochets that we need to work over. So we've got one, two, and three. So pull this corner over so that you can make sure you get this first one right here. It can be kind of hard to see, you see, because this is going over it. So just pull ever so slightly over so you can see it and then make sure that you work into that first one. So there's one. And then in the next stitch, there's another double crochet. And in the next, another double crochet. And then you're at your corner again. You're going to put two double crochet. Chain two and two more double crochet. And now you're going to do the double crochets across the top. So one, two, and three. And now we're in our last corner, so we're gonna work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now you're going to join at that first chain of three that you did. So one, two, three, right at the top, do a slip stitch, and now we've completed row two. So you're going to need to do another row and then we'll meet back up for our fourth row. So just keep working just like we've been doing. So you would chain three, one, two, and three, and then you would do double crochets all the way across the double crochets that are there. And then when you get to the corner, do two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And once you get done with your third round, we'll meet back up again for the fourth because that's when we're gonna bring in archery. So I'll see you in just okay, so a minute. now we're on our fourth row. So we're going to chain up three, just like we've been doing. And we're going to do double crochets all the way across this top here until we get to the side. So we're going to do double crochets all the way down And then when we get to our corner, we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, but then we're going to stop because now we're going to bring in the bottom of our Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree is going to lay flat just like this and we're going to bring it on with the stitches that we're working, okay? So what we're going to do is is we still need to put two double crochets in this corner. So we're going to do a double crochet, yarn over, but then we're going to go through the first stitch of our Christmas tree, and we're gonna go through this, this chain space that we were working into, and we're going to do a double crochet. Then we still need one more in that space, but we're gonna yarn over, go through our Christmas tree, and then go through this is now, so now we're going through the second stitch of our Christmas tree. So let me bring that up closer. So yarn over, go through your next stitch of your Christmas tree, go through the space that you're still working your corner in and do another double crochet, okay? Now you're gonna keep working just like you would normally. The only difference is, is you're just going through your stitches here also. So we're going to yarn over and do a double crochet and go into our next stitch. So now we've got two that we already did. 
So now this is three. And into our next stitch, that's four. And into our next stitch, that's five. Into our next stitch, that's six. And then you need to make sure you get the stitch right beside our tree trunk here. So yarn over, go through there, right beside it, and then go through your next stitch. So there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, I'm sorry, that's seven. So now we've got seven double crochets across. Now you're gonna yarn over and our tree trunk is gonna count as one too because we want it to be on there. So you're just going to yarn over and you're gonna find a little space behind here that only goes through the back of the trunk so you can't see it from the front. And then you're gonna go through your next stitch. And that's nine. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight, sorry. And then you're gonna make sure that you pick up this stitch right next to your tree trunk and go through your next stitch. So there's nine. And your last two stitches will be worked into the side. So you will have 15 stitches across, okay? Fourteen and 15. Okay, so that's your corner. So that started your corner. Now you're going to chain two, and then in the same corner, you can move your Christmas tree to the side. In that same corner, you're going to put two more double crochets. And this is just so that your square will remain the same, okay? And then you would keep working double crochets all the way around, just like you would normally do for a granny square. Okay, so you just keep doing like you were doing before. And now your tree is on. And then once we get done with our granny square, we'll take our pieces and we'll sew on the tree. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I wanna show you how many rows that you need, okay? So right here, we've got one, two, three, and then we're working on our fourth, okay? So in the ones that I made, um, you have six rows. Okay, so after you finish this row, you're going to do two more rows of your granny square, and then we'll meet back up together again, and I'll show you how to finish off the Christmas tree and how to do the French knot. Okay, so I just finished my sixth row of my granny square, and I left a long piece here off the end because remember, we're going to sew these granny squares together to make the beanie. So I also have this long piece that I left here when I was doing my Christmas tree, and I have this piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my darning needle, and I'm gonna take this piece that was left at the top of our tree, and I'm going to put it on to my darning needle, and I'm going to place this right about midway of my next to last row. So on our fifth row, I'm going to take this and I'm gonna go right through the middle here, just like this. And I'm going to pull tightly. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna work this piece into the back of the Christmas tree. And I can see that Christmas tree, the white through the blue here. So I'm gonna work that in three or four times so I know it'll never come undone, okay? Then you can cut that piece off. Then I'm going to flip my square back over 
and we've got our tree placed. Now I'm gonna take the long piece that we left on the bottom of the tree. Now this isn't necessary, you don't have to do this. You can leave the pocket there if you want, but I wanted it to be more secure because it was a beanie. So I'm gonna go around the Christmas tree. So I'm going to take my, my yarn and I'm simply going to go in and out just like this, all around the side of the Christmas tree. So I'm just taking my thread going in, out and back through. In, out and back through. In, out and back through. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around, even here at the very top. Can you see? It's just gonna make sure that it's placed. And then when I get here to the end, I'm gonna push it back through to the other side. And then I'm going to work this back into the white of the Christmas tree. Again, I'm going to do it three to four times to make sure that it is in there really good. Okay. Then I can cut off and we can flip this back over again. Now I'm gonna show you how I do the French knots. Well, actually what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you too um, with that little piece that I have left over from the tree. I'm going to also do a little stitch here at the, um, right down here at the bottom, the tree trunk. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go behind my granny square. I'm gonna go through one side of the tree trunk, pull up, Underneath, you can see there's a piece hanging, leave that there. I'm gonna position exactly where I want it and then I'm gonna go through the other side, just like that. Pull tight, turn it back over, make a knot once and twice. And this is up to your discretion at this point. You can either work these in or you can leave them. Now. I would normally work these in, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna cut it off for right now, okay? And so now that is even down. So now let's move on to the French knot. So what I'm gonna do is, um, if you use a variegated yarn for this, um, then you'll use whatever colors you can get, which means you might have to pull your colors a little bit to get to the colors that you want. Um, but you're going to take a, a good size piece of yarn onto uh, your darning needle. I'd say probably about a foot long. Okay, and then you can put these little um, ornaments anywhere you want to. As you can see for this one, I just put them wherever. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and you're gonna come from the back and pull up, leaving a piece hanging in the back. You don't wanna pull it all the way through. And then this is the important part of this French knot. It's all in the way that you hold your needle and where you put your yarn at. So I'm gonna hold my needle with this hand, my darning needle, and I'm gonna put it right up to where I just came out with that yarn. And then I'm gonna wrap this piece very close Okay, so this is the key. I can't do it like this and just go through. That's not gonna work. It has to be close to where the starting point is for where the yarn's coming through. So I'm gonna wrap it around twice. I'm gonna go right up above where I came in, right there. And then I'm gonna pull uh, through and I'm gonna pull through gently, just like that. And that makes that little knot-like thing right there, okay? Now I've got a piece back here that I just um, will have to work in where I just pulled it in, okay? 
Now I'm gonna take the same piece and I'm gonna go up through my work to where I wanna go through next. That way I don't have too many to work in. So I'm gonna go all the way up here through the back and then I'm gonna come up this side of the tree, pull my yarn through and do the same thing I did before. And this is why you want your piece kind of long because you need that to work with. Then I'm gonna go over my uh, needle twice, wrap over twice, go right above where I just pulled the yarn through, go through again, and pull through loosely. Now this might take a couple times to get, that's okay. You could also pull it too tight like that, and if that happens, you can pull it back out again like that, okay? But try to keep it loose so you don't have that problem. And then again, I would go back through the back, work, work my yarn through where I wanna go through next, like this. Then I'm gonna come up right here. And I'm gonna show you one more time. So I'm going to take my needle, lay it flat above this yarn, wrap the yarn around twice, go above where I just came through, and then gently pull my yarn through just like that, okay? And then when you're done making all the ones that you wanna make, then you'll just simply take your piece and work it in three times in the back, okay? Now, the only piece that I need left on here is this one because that's what I'm gonna work all these together with, um, is right there, and that got hooked on to there. So I'm going to, Cut that little piece that's hooked and pull it through. And this piece was with my magic circle. So these I'm just gonna leave right here for now, but you need to work in all your ends for this project, okay? So there's one done and you're going to need three. So I have three, okay? And this is that variegated yarn, it changed colors on me, all right? So now I'm gonna show you how to place this all together. And it's very simple. All you're going to do is literally place them together just like this. So this is right in the middle of my work. So to get to the end of it, I'm going to put it onto my darning needle. And see, I wanna start down here. So I'm just gonna go up through a couple of these to get to where I need to go. Go through the back a little bit. Again, I'm just trying to get over here to the beginning. Okay, so now I'm over here and I wanna start right here in this corner, okay? So I'm gonna start right in the corner. I'm gonna pick, go right through this stitch right here and then through this stitch over here. And I'm just gonna go down doing a whip stitch. Now, if you're concerned about your stitches showing or whatever, you could do these inside out. I think it looks great just the way it is. It looks so vintage and cool. Um, it is a, a Granny Square Beanie. So I don't mind if it shows some of the joins. So this is all you're going to do, just doing a whip stitch, trying to go through each of the V's here. It's my main goal. Remember to use a corresponding color, which you should have if you left the long pieces on your granny squares. But if for some reason you didn't, you can just put some yarn onto your darning needle and sew. So I'm gonna go right back down 
to the other side, the other corner, the same place where I started. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in on this side. I'm going to work it in three times just to make sure it never comes undone. Actually, I might do four. Okay, and then you can cut off. And then you're gonna join the other side the same way. So this one, okay, I would just um, pull in right here and then I would sew here and then I would sew this way. Now you do wanna leave the top and the bottom open. So you're just sewing these together on the sides because this is a beanie, so you need the bottom and the top open, okay? We will close up the top and I will show you how to do that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and finish working these together and then I'll meet you back up in just okay, a second. Okay, so now we have sewed everything together, okay? And this is what it looks like. We've got uh, the, they're all joined together on the sides. And so now we're gonna bring in our, the same color we're using for our beanie and we're gonna do a half double crochet round all the way around at the top, okay? So you're just going to put one half double crochet all the way around in each stitch that you can. Um, the count really doesn't matter. You're going to um, be just closing this up with this at the very top. So like I said, just go all the way around with half double crochets. Um, just like this. And we're gonna do two rounds of these half double crochet before we close it, okay? So just half double crochets all the way around. When you get back to the beginning here, you're gonna slip stitch into your first half double crochet and then do one more round. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and we'll meet back up just together okay, in just a So second. I just did my one round of half double crochet. You need two. And also if you want more rounds of half double crochet, you can. It would make this beanie more like a slouchy beanie or you might need it to be bigger because it's gonna fit a bigger head. Just to let you know, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know right now that if you wanna make this beanie smaller or larger, the best way to do that is by changing the size of your hook. So we used a 5.5 millimeter hook and I am a normal woman. I'm, you know, I have three children, so I'm a grown woman and this fits my head perfectly um, with what we're doing today, okay? So, and that's with a 5.5 millimeter hook. If you wanted to make for a, you know, a small child, you might need to go all the way down to a 3.5 or maybe smaller if it's an infant. And if you wanna make it bigger, you may need to go to a six or a 6.5. So just keep that in mind. But to make it slouchy, uh, a slouchy beanie, you would make more rows of these half double crochets, okay? But now what we're gonna do is I've got a big piece, a long water yarn on this, uh, darning needle now. And now we're going to pull this beanie together here at the top. So to do that, all you're going to do is you're gonna take your needle and you're going to go in and out of your stitches like this, just like this. And then you're gonna pull. So I'm just going in and out. And you're gonna do that all the way around. And then at the end, it'll cinch up, okay? And while I'm doing this, another little trick I wanted to tell you with this beanie is make sure that when you're sewing your granny squares together for this beanie, that the Christmas trees are pointing the right direction. So make sure that, you know, they're all pointing up or they're all pointing down, however you want to do it. Um, but, you know, you'd hate to have like, you know, one side Christmas tree be up and the other side be upside down. So just keep that in mind. That was something I thought about while I was putting mine together off camera. Um... So again, I'm just pulling through here, just weaving in and out. And then when we get done with this, I'm gonna show you how to put on the poof at the top, which I normally don't include in my videos, but I'm going to in this one because, um, you know, I've heard people say it can kind of be a pain. And I actually think there are some videos on how to put the poof on the top. Um, so I am gonna include that in this one. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to do the easy peasy brim on the bottom, and then you will have a completed beanie. So yeah, these work up really quick. So I'm right almost here to where we started. So right there is where that um, 
where I brought in that yarn. So then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna pull tight. See how that did? As soon as I pulled tight, it closed there. And then I have a little piece there from where. Okay, but once I pull tight, um, sometimes you'll have a hole, sometimes you won't, um, just depends. But either way, um, whether I do or not, I usually like to go through just to secure it. I have a tiny hole here. So I'm just gonna take this same yarn that I've got on my darning needle and I'm gonna go through a couple times just to make sure that it's nice and closed at the top and it doesn't gape open. Um, just like that, very easy, you don't have to do a lot. And then I'm going to um, take this piece, I'm gonna go right down the middle because I'm gonna use the same piece to put my puff on. So I'm gonna pull it right down the middle, just like that, Oops, sorry. And then I'm gonna go right back up through the top again because um, like I said, I'm gonna pull in my puff through here, okay? So that's what it looks like so far. All right. So I need to work this piece in where we brought it in and now I'm gonna put on my puff. Now, I don't know which color I wanna use. I have this pretty little gray color but I also have the cream and I think I'm going to go with the cream. And this has a little place in the back and the, like I said, I told you before, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below for these. I love these um, and I do use this. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to simply pull this through like this, but I'm gonna hold it in my hand still. And I'm gonna go through and go to the side and that's gonna pull that through. But then I wanna get it on the other side as well. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna catch it again. And this is hard to show on camera and I keep hitting my camera. But that's gonna pull that through just like that. And then it's gonna pull tight up at the top, okay? So, and you could go through again if you felt like you needed to, if it was flimsy and not sturdy enough for you. You can find that little white piece. I can see it right through there. And then I'm gonna go back through again, okay? Just to give it a little extra oomph there so it doesn't come undone. Pull tight and then you'll just turn this inside out. And if you have any pieces here to work in, this is the time to do it. This is where I'd come in before. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna knot this off here and then I'm going to work in my pieces later off camera, okay? So then I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna tie one more knot. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just tying knots with my scraggly pieces that were left from where I brought in um, my yarn, okay? And then I will work these in in a little bit and anything else that needs to be worked in through here, I'll work that in too, okay? So this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? And then it can also face this way where you have two trees and then you've got your little puff on top. Okay, so now we're just gonna find out how to do this brim and then we're all done. So I'm gonna take this cream color that I used for the trees. I think that looks best. So whatever color you use for your trees, I think really looks good on the brim. It makes the tree stand out. Um, so yeah, and I think using a corresponding color poof for your trees helps as well. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna go all around your brim uh, with a half double crochet. Um, and you really, you really need to have at least 60. Now, on the bottom of this uh, brim, it's not going to be easy to work into because the stitches are not um, easy to see. So some of them, you know, so what I'd like you to do is just try to get 60. So you're gonna do a half double crochet all the way around of 60. Where you see a stitch that you can work into, do that. And if it's a space, then go into the space, you know. But like I said, you just want 60. So that's what you're gonna do, you just go around with your half double crochets. Okay. 
okay? So I'm going to um, just leave that there and I'm gonna show you how to do the brim from this. I'm not gonna go all the way around. Um, like I said, just so the video won't be so, so long, okay? So let's just pretend that you've done your half double crochets all the way around. You slip stitched here at the end. And so now it's time to make your brim. So this is the way you're gonna do your brim. You're gonna turn your hat this way you can start wherever you want to, doesn't matter, but I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna pull in the same yarn that I was using and I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'm gonna do six, six, okay? So I've done six. And then you're going to single crochet all the way back down, okay? Um, so in the second chain from the hook, do a single crochet. So there's one, and then in the next, two, and the next, three, and the next, four, and in the next, five, okay? And then you're going to skip three stitches by doing a slip stitch, okay? So you're gonna go one, slip stitch and the next your second slip stitch and the next your third slip stitch and when i say skip i mean because then you're going to turn and go back up okay so then turn your work and then you're going to go back up you're going to go back up this way up this but you're going to go through the back loops of your stitches so you're going to go through the back loop and you're going to do one two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and then you're gonna work back down the other way, working into the back loop. And this will create a ridge. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then again, you're gonna slip stitch into your next three. One, two, and three. Then you're going to turn your work and you're gonna do that again, working into the back loops you're going to do a single crochet all the way up to the top. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I did too many there. That's okay, I'll fix it as I come back down. Okay, and so then you're gonna come back down the other way. And again, working in the back loop, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm gonna go into my next stitch, slip stitch, next stitch, slip stitch, next stitch, slip stitch, <laughs> turn my work, and working in the back loop, I'm gonna go back up with my single crochets. Okay. And this is gonna make a beautiful rim all the way around. When you get to your last stitch, you're simply going to do uh, exactly what you've been doing. You're gonna join them together um, by turning it inside out and then sewing together, okay? I mean, not sewing together, but crocheting together your last stitches, okay? So this makes a beautiful rim. So just keep going round like that with this rim and it'll look ribbed. And this is the way that it turns out. It's just absolutely lovely, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy these little Christmas tree uh, beanies. I thought it was a fun way without getting too technical of how to, to make a design in a beanie without making like a whole graph uh, graph 
gan type of beanie. Um, so yeah, really easy, super fun. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. I hope you're staying safe and you're wearing a mask. And I hope that everyone in your family is healthy and blessed. I will see you in the next video. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.